So Bonnie, Emma, and I are finally back home in Alaska. We flew into Anchorage yesterday. We have one more day of travel ahead of us today. We're gonna get our supplies. We hit Costco. I won't bore you with shopping at Costco, but I'll show you what we got. Then we pick up another uh, grocery list from uh, Fred Meyer, and we're gonna transport all of that and us back up to the lodge via, or via, I've heard it both ways, uh, snowmobile. So we're excited to see Zach and Alyssa, but we're also sad because we only get like half a day with them before they turn around and head out on vacation. So um, we're happy to be home. We're dealing with a little bit of sickness. Uh, hopefully we can rest up and get over that and get back to life in the bush. We're at the trailhead. I have everything loaded up. Got my machine over there with all of that stuff and uh, Bonnie's machine right here. Got a little bit in the cargo rack and the sled there. That is four check-on bags for the airplane. They all weigh close to 50 pounds a piece. Uh, this ice chest right here is chocked full of produce and vegetables. I guess that's what produce is. And fruit is what I meant to say. Produce and fruit. Um, then we have dried goods and uh, sparkling waters and diapers and wipes and you name it, we got it. Enough to last us for another month. Just Bonnie and I out there. Excited to get home. Emma's not feeling great, but we feel she's good enough to make the trail. We, we had a hard time making that decision this morning, but we said it's not a dangerous uh, temperature that she had with the fever. And uh, today a friend of ours is on the trail and also Zach and Alyssa are at home. So if anything goes wrong, they can come get us. So we're excited to get home, excited to be in our own bed and see our dog again, excited about Howie. It's about 15 degrees at the trailhead. Last time I talked with Zach, he said it was 10 degrees at the lodge. We should be all right. Um, we're gonna get home, we'll see you there. So we're home, few chores to do, not bad. Zach had most of it taken care of. I do not feel good at all. Mm. feel like I got a throw up. Um, I was sick when we traveled home, had a fever and whatnot. Um, I, I felt better today uh, when we traveled up the trail. And then after we were done unloading stuff, my goodness, um, something hit me, a bug. Maybe it's the end of this virus. Hopefully it's the end. So... Emma's getting over it, um, the fever, actually. Bonnie is just starting to get it. You're probably sitting there asking, why am I outside in the freezing cold telling you about being sick? Well, this is one of the chores. I just have to get a little bit of wood in because I'm going to take uh, Zach and Alyssa and the girls to town tomorrow and then come back home. Bonnie's here alone with Emma sick both of them are sick but bonnie's not gonna want to bundle emma up and go outside and get firewood so i'm trying to get that done for her that way she has plenty of firewood to stoke the, the stove with while i'm gone um, i'll pretty much be gone all day from you know from dawn to dusk so <clears throat> tell you what i'll be glad when i'm healthy and the other sucky part of this is we have quarantined ourselves from Zach and Alyssa and the girls. Uh, you know, we don't want to get them sick before they head to town and go on vacation. I've tried to limit my contact with them. And okay, enough talking. You get the picture. I got to get this wood inside. I'm freezing my butt off. I'll bring you along later. So here we are. Day one, day two of being home. I guess you could count yesterday as day one. I did end up throwing up. Feel a little bit like Jerry Seinfeld, you know, that uh, that streak that you have of not throwing up. I was doing so well. And there was no chance yesterday. Whatever kind of bug I had, whew, that was intense. But you guys don't want to know about that. Our cabin is a disaster because Bonnie and I just have not felt good. We haven't had time to organize things, put things away. But this morning, Zach and Alyssa are heading out. We're gonna wish them well, and through text message. So, we'll get over this. 
We'll say goodbye to Zach and Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. This is not how I saw this vlog going, but life happens. I got sick. My wife and my daughter got sick very bad. I mean, it's been five days since we've been home, since we pulled in, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. My wife's feeling pretty good. We still have those moments of like a little bit dizzy, uh, pretty weak. So whatever we had took it out of us. Um, I had visions of grandeur with this uh, episode Bonnie and Em and I coming home from Florida to Alaska, you know, back at the cabin. So anyways, that didn't happen. Thank you for making it through this very boring, I'll just say sick vlog. And uh, I want to thank you, Zach and Alyssa, for doing almost all the chores uh, prior to Bonnie and I getting home because, man, I didn't have strength to do anything. And on top of that, the cold snap has not stopped. You can see I'm not dressed in my shorts. It's still cold. I think we're right around zero right now. And thankfully, I have found a calm in the wind to record this little thing here. It has been blowing nonstop since Zach and Alyssa left, the wind. I, they've dealt with it for about three weeks. I've dealt with it for about four days. And I'm done, done, I'm done. A vlog wouldn't be complete. One of my vlogs wouldn't be complete without me saying, it's a beautiful day outside. Look at the sun and we got the mountains and it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. So thanks again for watching. I'll pick up my game next week. I'm feeling a lot better. We'll bring you a, a more entertaining, a more maybe thrilling vlog next week. Be sure to hit that like button and comment. That really helps our video uh, get out there, the whole YouTube algorithm thing. So like, comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're almost to a thousand, guys. We're excited. All right, out. Comment, and don't forget to hit the, I'm done. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>